Hey guys, it's Tamman here doing love, and the 2020 NFL Draft is complete. And with that being said, I'll be doing the top five teams I think had the best draft classes. Now this draft, there are a lot of good teams, so this is going to be a very hard list. What I will say is that I'm not a draft expert. I didn't do a ton of scouting, but in my opinion, these are the top five. And the number one team I think did the best is one of my favorite teams, the Baltimore Ravens. A lot of Ravens fans wanted to trade up and get Kenneth Murray a linebacker, but the Ravens stay at pick 28, and they get Patrick Queen, who I love with this team. They don't have to trade. They get an amazing player, but then they're not done. They get J.K. Dobbins out of Ohio State. They do have Mark Ingram as a running back, but Ingram is older and injuries are a concern, so they get Dobbins, a really good player. They then continue and get a really good Defensive tackle and Justin Matabuke, good need for them, makes that D-line even scarier. I love this pick. Devin DuVernay out of Texas, the speedy wide receiver, adds so much speed to that team. And then other great picks, Malik Harrison, Tyree Phillips. They go offensive line here to replace Marshall Yondo, who retired. I even like the James Prochet pick here out of SMU. I, I really like that. He was a shorter guy, but... He can still get the ball in his hands. They not only helped Lamar Jackson, but they helped fill the holes. I love this draft by the Baltimore Ravens. Every pick was amazing. Molly Harrison, Tyree Phillips, all of them. A plus, I love it. Number two goes to the Dallas Cowboys. And as an Eagles fan, this one hurts. CeeDee Lamb at 17 wasn't a need for them, but it really does help Dak Prescott. But then after that, it was like, Amazing pick. They get Trayvon Diggs. Help out that secondary. Byron Jones left. I really do like Trayvon Diggs. I think round two pick 19, pretty good value. They then go and get Neville Gallimore in the third round. I had him like a late two guy, so great steal there. They get Reggie Robinson. Don't know a ton about him. Cornerback's always nice. But then they go ahead and get Tower B it is. Trade with the Eagles. Get the Travis Frederick replacement. Travis, Travis Frederick did retire. They get B it as amazing pick. And they go on here. I don't know that much about these last two picks. But the Cowboys address need. They got a lot of great steals. I think that the Cowboys are going to be very interesting next year. Number three is the Denver Broncos. And man, this team went all in on Drew Locke. And that's what I love. At the end of last year, I thought Drew Locke had a really promising, you know, the, he looks promising, I, and Denver just built around him. They got Jerry Judy at 15, amazing. Then they're not done, they get K.J. Hamler out of Penn State, someone I wish the Eagles took, but amazing pick for Denver. They now have Jerry Judy, K.J. Hamler, and Cortland Sutton with Noah Fan, Melvin Gordon, Phil Brin Lindsay. Man, this Broncos offense is going to be great. But don't forget about the defense, and they did go defense here. McTelvin Agam, Michael Ubjidi here. I like that in the third. Um, they go Tyree Cleveland. They go, I like how the picks were varied. They got some offensive line here, Lloyd Schutzenberry. I thought he, I had a second round grade on him, so to get him in the third is great stuff. Um, they also got some defensive players late. I really do like this draft by the Broncos. They went all in on Drew Locke. We're going to stay here at the top of the alphabet. Number four is the Arizona Cardinals. Isaiah Simmons in number eight. Absolute steal. I love Isaiah Simmons. I think he's a top three player in this draft class. So versatile. Helps this Arizona defense that has good guys like Jordan Hicks, Buda Baker. They didn't go offensive line with this pick. But then they made up for it by going Josh Jones in round three. What a steal. I thought this was a first round guy. He fell. And then they go, Lakiti Futu, defensive line was a need for them. Rashad Lawrence, they go D-line. I like this Evan Weaver pick in round six. And I also like Eno Benjamin. I think the guy, the kid staying in Arizona from ASU, just a really good draft by the Cardinals. Not only do they help that defense, but they help Kyler Murray. And that's what I liked about these teams. You know, the Ravens giving Lamar another target. The Cowboys giving Dak, CeeDee Lamb, Drew Locke, you know, got, got a lot of players. Kyle Murray gets help. That's what these teams have done. They have helped their 
young quarterbacks succeed, and I think that's very important. Because we've seen a lot of young quarterbacks like Kyler Murray, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson have amazing success. Deshaun Watson, Carson Wentz. It's really important. Before we go to number five, here are some honorable mentions. Panthers did not make the list, but I like the all-defense draft they did with Matt Rule. Um, you also have to go here. I thought that the Giants had a good draft as well, getting offensive line and Xavier McKinney in the two was a good pick. Miami, they got Tua and they got offensive line as well. A couple of the late round picks I wasn't crazy about. And then I also really liked the draft for Tampa Bay, getting Tristan Wirfs and Antoine Winfield. But the number five team is the Minnesota Vikings. I think they had an amazing draft. Justin Jefferson at 22, I really like for this Vikings offense. They then get Jeff Gladney at 31. I think this is terrific value. That is great value for Jeff Gladney. Not too early. Um, they get him right at 31. Someone who I think really fits in with this Vikings defense. They then go as with Cleveland. Someone who I had going a bit earlier. They need offensive line. Cameron Dancer like him. Don't know that much, but they get Tro about these couple guys. But they get Troy Dye. Someone who I had going in the third round. They get him at in the fourth round, and I really do like this. Um, one of my good friend uh, Ben, he's in the Man to Man Coverage podcast. He really liked this. And the Vikings had a ton of picks, and they addressed their need. Wide receiver, they go offensive line, and they go corner. This was a team that lost a lot of players, Minnesota, but I think they more than made up for it. So I love that draft. So of all the five teams, it goes, in my opinion, Ravens, Cowboys. Broncos, Cardinals, and Vikings. This was a tough list. A lot of good teams. But overall, that's my top five. This is my entertainment here doing well. I'll see you all next time. Take care and be safe.